Uh, but government made it look like choice. The government were in on it, man. Uh, you do realize the government, most of the government were tobacco farmers or they were friends with the tobacco farmers. So they were in each other's pockets. It was a scam. It was a big cover up. And they knew the health implications. But they didn't say anything. They kept quiet. They kept silent. They knew that tobacco alone wasn't enough. So that's why they infused the cigarettes with toxic chemicals to make you addicted more to it. And to keep you addicted, she so kept buying more of it. How is he taking a nap on a beach when she's out there getting chewed up? Crazy. Still in it today, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even worse today. Now they're making uh, smoking like more sweet, tastes better, so it keeps you addicted and it's harder to break the addiction. <sighs> that is a scary first scene. The guy's just on the, on the beach oblivious, taking a nap because he's too drunk. Like she was a little far out, but you would have heard le at least a splash. Or at least like a, ah, ah, like something, you know. Even if you were super drunk, you'd hear a little bit. I mean, look at alcohol. How has that has changed? Back in the day, it tasted like pure gasoline. Nowadays, it still kind of does, but they have like tainted it with sugars and chemicals that make it taste sweet so that people can barely notice the contamination they can barely like be able to tell they just taste a little bitter taste but a lot of sweetness and on, on top of that so they think it's just a sweet drink with a little bit of a sour kick that's what these alcoholic companies do man they are so sleazy it's crazy and they are slowly silently killing people by the masses and these people don't even realize that they're dying so slowly from their organs getting toxified and destroyed, their livers, their kidneys, their brain, all their organs get affected. It's not just severe dehydration. Your whole body is starting to shut down. Your organs and everything, you know, it's scary as hell if you think about it. But people are oblivious. They don't care. They don't really pay attention. They don't do research. They don't know diddly squat about health at all. The education department don't want to tell them much. You know, because if they did, everyone would be healthy and then pharmaceutical industry wouldn't make any money. Doctors wouldn't make any money. The government would make any taxes. The economy would be obviously a different state. You could still have a healthy economy or a healthy society and have a healthy economy and still make a shit ton of money. You know, you don't need to rely on drugs, alcohol and all these bad shit to make the economy keep moving. You do realize that. It would just function in a different way. I like this scene. That's when it was Brody. Yeah, Officer Brody. And he's driving that big Jeep that's lifted, the police Jeep, to the sheriff's station to look at the corpse of the, the girl that's been ripped to pieces. I think it's like a leg that's there, isn't it? Is it a leg or something? A torso? Something is, is there to look at. Or is he the chief? He's like the chief or something. He's not police. He's like Chile. He's like the chief of the town. He's like, nobody saw her go in the water. No, somebody did. But someone was passed out drunk. 